This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. I just don't see any reason for three. I think that there are a lot of people who would benefit from that. Of the 10 medical marijuana dispensaries allocated to open within Washoe County, three are slated for Incline Village. Is that kind of concentration good or bad for that small community? Both sides of the story top Channel 2 News at 5 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kristen Remington. Wendy has the night off. I'm glad you can be with us. Well, medical marijuana dispensaries in Washoe County are again the big story tonight. Are the allocations right for the areas involved? And are the laws governing them being followed? Some of that is now for the courts to decide. Erin Breen is still working to get answers to the many questions out there about this topic. Today, she went to one of the communities that could be impacted in a big way. Erin. Well, Kristen has reported yesterday the allocations have become the focus of a lawsuit in Washoe County. But we wanted to take a closer look at the situation in Incline Village. Incline Village is an unincorporated area of Washoe County with about 8,000 permanent residents. Jim Clark has been one of them since 1992. He says that medical marijuana is a welcome industry, but too much of anything could cause problems. We're, we're right on the state line, and we don't know what California is going to do. Right. So if, if Nevada's laws are, are, are uh, less stringent than California's, then you know, that would bring a whole uh, group over here. Now, I don't begrudge anybody medicine. But I don't think we don't have three pharmacies here. Not only is that a lot for this small area, they're really close together. When I say it's a stone's throw from this one to the next one, I'm not exaggerating. Driving from the proposed location at the Christmas Tree Village to the one proposed for the village center, it took us three minutes. On this county map, the dispensaries are gold dots. They overlap in Incline Village. Now, some see potential problems with the concentration. And we don't want it to affect residential values or, or crime or anything else up there. And others see it as a potential answer. It would bring the business up since we're not having a lot of snow. Usually snow brings people up for the ski resorts, but it just hasn't snowed in a, quite a few years enough to bring people up, but it would probably help out the businesses around here. That would be able to offer permanent year-round jobs for people here. And... Um, I know people that are patients that would be able to go to those instead of having to travel so far to find a dispensary. Well, we did finally hear back from state officials this afternoon about our story from last night. They acknowledged there is some concern over the allocations and said they'd be glad to sit down and explain their views on all of this tomorrow. And we'll have that part of this ongoing story for you tomorrow night at 5. Covering the big story, Aaron Breen, Channel 2 News.